Now, a described distribution question is quite a common question in geography, and it can actually be pretty easy if you follow the technique. Now, I'm going to show you exactly what you need to do to get full marks in a question that asks you to describe the distribution of something. So listen up. So distribution just means the way in which something is spread out. Okay, So the way in which something is spread out, that's what you need to describe for a question like this. Okay, Now I'm going to use an example of deserts across the world. So describing the distribution of deserts across the world. But the rules that I'm going to give you in a minute could apply to any question that asks you to describe the distribution of something. Okay, so here are the rules here. So, rule number one is say what the overall pattern is. So first, you're just going to say in general and tell me what the overall pattern is. I'll give you some examples in a minute. Second one, pick out some general examples. So that might be continents. You might pick out a few continents where it fits in with the pattern. Number three, give some specific examples. So these might be countries, they might be named of deserts, they might be named of towns and cities, something like that. So some specific examples. Number four, just going to tell me somewhere that doesn't really fit with the pattern or somewhere where the thing that you're describing isn't found. So where deserts aren't found, for example. Okay. Now, I'm going to show you what this would look like for our example of deserts. So for deserts, what you would say is say the general pattern. So you'd say, in general, deserts are found close to the equator. So that's the general pattern. Second thing, some more general examples, so particularly looking at maybe continents, you might say, such as in North Africa, Australia, and the west coast of South America. So that's the pattern and some general examples. Now we want a specific example, so you'll pick out an example of a desert. So, for example, the Sahara Desert in North Africa. And that's the majority of the question done. Last thing to put is somewhere that doesn't really fit with the pattern, or somewhere where deserts, for example, aren't located. So you might just add on to the end. There are no deserts in Western Europe. And overall, your answer would look like this, and this would be full marks. In general, deserts are found close to the equator, such as in North Africa, Australia, and the west coast of South America. So that's your general pattern, and some more general examples, such as continents. Then I'm going to pick out a specific example. So, for example, the Sahara Desert, found in North Africa. And finally, somewhere that doesn't fit with the pattern, there are no deserts in Western Europe. So if you manage to do those four things which could apply to any other example, so it could be to rainforests or cities, or it could be anything like that, if you follow that pattern, you'll get full marks, and then you spot on. And that's all for now.